And you can progress to what I would call now the 21st sphere in, on Earth without your soulmate. The chances of you being without your soulmate to that point are pretty remote because by that point you have such soul power and love that your soulmate is just going to be drawn from anywhere on the globe to you. So it's very highly unlikely you'd be without your soulmate at that point. But you can progress until the 21st year, until the pre-soul union state, if you like, without your soulmate in your life. And in terms of when we, uh, how we progress together, um, obviously in the first century I was at one with God while I was on earth, and I passed, I, I feel I passed into the 10th sphere of the spirit world. So the 11th sphere upwards didn't exist at that point. So those dimensions weren't existing dimensions until I passed into them. Um, when Mary passed, I feel fairly sure that she was in a fifth sphere condition, but still working through some first sphere emotions at times. So she was rapidly in a fifth sphere and then progressed quite rapidly after that. Um, because her soul desire for truth was also strong. Um, in terms of recognising the possibility of reincarnating though, it took some time, I believe, for us to recognise the possibility of being able to have, perform a soul union. So theoretically, we believed it was possible, but because we hadn't experienced it, we couldn't say for certain that it was possible. And it was only in the 1900, the, the uh, uh, early 20th century, that we began to realise that that was certainly a possibility uh, that we can personally experience. And so that I have some feelings about working through that issue together so that we can actually get into that condition. Mary has not had those.